Uzbekistan is the most densely populated country in Central Asia. Here, more than 60% of people live in rural areas. Traditions are deeply rooted in the lives of ordinary Uzbeks. Women play little part in decision-making in public society, but in private, in the home, it is the mother-in-law who dominates and must be obeyed. This culture is so powerful that in many cases it becomes the biggest obstacle to the development of civil society in Uzbekistan. Many young brides become victims of these cultural traditions. The typical mother-in-law's advice to her son is don't spoil your wife, otherwise she's going to sit on your head. According to the constitution of Uzbekistan, I declare you a new family of the Republic. So, my child, from today this house is yours. Here you've got four brothers-in-law, their wives and two sisters-in-law. You must respect them, live in peace and serve them with dignity. I will, mother. Oh my god, I'm so tired and my baby is almost due. Everything is going to be fine, I hope. Anyway, I will be busy with my baby then. If only I'd gone to university, I wouldn't have got married so early. Never mind, this is my life now. I'm lucky that they don't make me work in the fields like the neighbours do. Oh. Hey, come here. What are you spoiling your wife for? What do you want? Don't spoil her, otherwise she will end up sitting on your head. Stupid. Where is she? Why is she so slow? I'm dying for a cup of tea. Hey, will you bring me a cup of tea or not? For God's sake. Hey, what are you doing just sitting here? I'm going to be late for work. Go and prepare my suit, quick. How can you be so unfair? You're cruel. Why do you treat her like a slave? She works all day without any rest, and besides, she's pregnant. Why don't you think about that, eh? What are you talking about? Don't you remember your mother? She used to make me do everything. All day long I used to work on the farm and then at night I would work at home. Why didn't you say anything to your mother? Let her work. She's young and it's good for her. She will be tough. It's good experience. Oh, I'm not feeling very well today. This morning I wanted to go to the doctor but my mother-in-law didn't like the idea. She says she gave birth to seven children and nothing bad ever happened. But I have to get there somehow. I'm sorry we couldn't save your baby. Your wife is in recovery. She won't be able to have any more children. She's very young and she's not been cared for during the pregnancy. Unfortunately, we have a lot of these kinds of stories. Lots of Uzbek families follow Uzbek traditions and make their children marry very young. And then their in-laws treat them atrociously. Domestic violence is the main reason for maternal mortality, miscarriages and sick babies. 80% of divorces are due to the intolerable relationships that young brides experience with their mothers-in-law. Most of these marriages don't even last a year. The mothers-in-law want their daughters-in-law to obey them and to work like slaves. 